what is kvo and advantage kvo stands for key value observing it is a process of observing changes of an object i'll show you an example assume that uh, i'm having one object called human another object called bank account human holds a person holds a bank account in so and so bank whenever he deposits some amount he should get notified whenever the bank deducts some amount annual maintenance charges something the user should get updated means uh, actually what is getting changed here balance is one property that is getting changed as in when the property gets changed the other side the human the account holder is getting notified to achieve such kind of functionality we can go for key value observing observing is a process of observing changes of an object what is object in our case balance is an object or a property what is the advantage kvo helps to update user interface when there is a change in property value that is displayed on the user interface here user object is displaying his balance on user interface as in when there is a change in balance the user interface should get updated how we can achieve whenever you follow the kvo design pattern kvl observing feature as in when there is a change in balance the human will be notified the human will be notified then the user interface will be gets updated you have to write the logic let's see how exactly it works bank account is one object one class and human is one class it has a property called balance and it has couple of methods like deduct annual maintenance charges deposit amount withdraw amount and a human has a account that is bank account and i am having two methods one is for registering the observer i am telling i am going to receive messages i am going to receive messages this is the message when there is a change in balance property and i want to new value here you can also have the old value you can also have the initial value and previous value also we have prior value i am i am interested in new value you can also print the new value here let's see change and uh, i am having two classes one is human another one is the bank account i have created human human name is hanuman his account is uh, already get created here and uh, i am calling a method uh, observe changes in my balance it is simply a method in case of view controllers you write this logic in video load itself here i am telling my account to observe who is the observer here self self means in the current class the method gets called and what is the path hash key path and bank account and balance this is the property when there is a change in this property i want to be get notified and what value i want to get that is a new value and nil and this is the general method which is there in the ns object class you have to override that observe key key path object change and context let's see here i am registering for that and deducting maintenance balance when there is a deduction here this method gets called here update user interface update user interface similarly i'll deposit amount the amount is 100 rupees i'm going to deposit let's run it human is created the human name is hanuman his bank account also got created and uh, observing for the changes uh, i am deducting maintenance bank is getting the balance is getting deducted by 25 rupees when there is a change when there is a change th this method got called already the new value is uh, minus 25 by default uh, the amount is 0 0 minus 25 25 minus 25 and again depositing amount 
when you deposit uh, i got the 75 the new value what uh, the balance has is uh, minus 25 plus 75 minus 25 plus 100 the final value is 75 that is the new value what we got here and one important thing is uh, here we have to use uh, add rate obc and dynamic actually this kvv feature is basically derived from the object we see so you must use the add rate obc and dynamic otherwise uh, these methods will not be called and make sure here wherever you are observing it should be subclass of ns object 